Welcome back, this is the 2020 Trek Madone SLR disc bike. This is my teammate Nick Kyrgyz's bike and this is a Project One. Project One is something Trek does, so you go online and basically you can completely customise the frame and the colours and how you want it. So he's got like matte grey finish here with the gold Trek down the down tube. So if you have a bike that you would like me to review in the future, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be able to get to it in another video. So a cool thing that the Trek Madone has, I'm pretty sure it's called this ISO speed thing. So basically the seat tube and the top tube aren't really connected it's got like this rubber mount in here and theoretically when you go over bumps this is meant to kind of like come back a little bit and give you a little bit of support so if you look along this top tube there's a small bolt right here and you can loosen this off or tighten it up Kurgi, because he's a sprinter has obviously got this tightened up he doesn't want any play in here but if you loosen this off you can slowly put it back and then it gives you the option to have the comfortable seat post and have a little bit more comfort on what is a full-blown aero road bike so like a lot of big road bike brands now they usually have their big brand and the big brand here is Trek and then they have their like smaller under brand for all the components and Trek's one is Bontrager and this bike is fitted with a full aero cockpit so it's got internal cables all the way through here and one thing I do like about this bike is that it comes stock with this absolutely ginormous sprint stem. This is about 100, I think this is 140 millimeters long. So it's about the same size as the zip one I have on my Cannondale. But this is all integrated, all the cables run through this. And I think it's quite a nice touch. Another cool thing is, is this Trek has all its own custom spaces. So obviously Kirgi's got his quite low down. But when you're going under the stem, you have the option of having these quite nice looking spaces rather than having some pretty ugly small ones because it would look a bit weird with having this big chunky stem and having really small spaces underneath. One thing that might be a concern for some people that are looking to buy this bike is that it is not light. Like, it's got full carbon wheels on here, race wheels, race tyres, no bottles in it or anything, and this is a... Uh, not a light bike, it would be pushing over 8 kgs. The thing that it is though is it's not meant to be a climber's bike. So if you're looking for a really stiff crit bike, or if you're a lead out man or a fast man into the sprints, the lack of lightweight does get made up for in the stiffness of this bike. This is probably one of the stiffest sprinting bikes on the market and Kyrgyz can put out close to I think almost 17, 1800 watts and this thing is absolutely perfect and still going hard. Okay, so now we're going to look at some of the specific components that Kyrgyz got on his Trek Madone. So this Madone is fitted out with a full Ultegra 11 speed DI2 group set and Kyrgyz also got this SRM carbon power meter on there at the moment. Not sure what the 105 chain rings are about, but another cool little touch is he's also got this gold KMC chain. I've heard some good and some bad reviews about them. Some people love the way they look and they're good. Some people say they don't last quite as long as normal chains, but if Kugi's using it, clearly it's not too bad. Going down below, he's also got the Shimano Ultegra calipers and uh, rotors. And this bike is race ready at the moment, so he's got the Bontrager Aerolist Pro 5 wheels. I think there's about 55 millimeter, 60 millimeter carbon wheels. And fitted on these are the Vittoria Corsa Graphene tires. These are the second generation of these and these are 28 millimeters and this bike can take some seriously seriously big tires these new aero bikes are all made to be able to fit these big tires in them like there's plenty of plenty of room in there you're not going to get any stone chips or any stones caught in there so on a lot of new bikes the junction box has been put down here in the frame on the down tube but on Kyrgyz Madone it's actually here right at the end of the bars so you just kind of click in there you can open that up to charge the bike and it's just sitting in there. And to top it all off, he's running the Physique Arione saddle, and this is the titanium railed version. All right, so we're gonna head off for a ride on the Trek Madone. I'm gonna be honest, I did give this a bike a ride in January after Cycle Classic, and I know that it fits me perfectly, that's why I wanted to do a bit of a review on it. So we're gonna head out on the road out of Carapera. There's a lot of rollers down there, so we're gonna give it a few berries up the thing, see how stiff it is, see how it feels on the climbs, and overall, just see how nice of a ride it is. Alrighty, time to test out the brakes on the Trek Madone. Alrighty, a wee bit of a hit 
head out on the Trek Madone, and this is one seriously fast bike. Like, it is ridiculously stiff. And, and one thing, I did a few sprints on the rollers up the hills, and I feel like probably 9, 10%, and I really can't tell the difference of the weight. But there are only little power climbs, you'll probably notice it a little bit more if you're going up like a long 10K climb. But then again, if you're going up a big climb like that and you're going to be winning, you're probably not going to be riding one of these. But yeah, doing a few sprints and like power climbs and stuff on this, this is such a stiff bike, you literally throw some power into it and then you're off. So, so if you're a sprinter or a criterium racer and if you want something super stiff and super strong, this is definitely the bike for you. Also having that full carbon bars and the carbon stem, lots of carbon bars these days are kind of like flexy and stuff. There is absolutely, I can't tell any flex in these at all. And I was going down those rollers about 65k an hour, full gas on the drops and I really couldn't notice too much and no flex or anything. So. Yeah, it's a really, really cool bike. Also, on my bike, I run 25mm tyres on my um, C50s and C75s. And these having the 28s and stuff, they do feel really, really like secure around the corners. And I would be really interested to try and get some 28s on my bike eventually, because these look pretty cool and it's definitely the way of the future. But yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, do consider subscribing. It helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't liked this video, give it a thumbs up.